Hi, this is Bird from Birds SVGs, and in this video, we're going to be putting together the Snowflake window uh, gift bag, and that's from the Home for Christmas SVG collection. So, first of all, we're going to be putting the window together to go on the front of our gift bag, and I have chosen for my middle layer to be cut out of vellum, but it's up to, completely up to you. You can use um, acetate if you'd like your window to be clear, but I thought it might be nice um, to use vellum to give a kind of like winter frosty look. Um, so you can't very well see what's inside, but the fun thing with this is you can add a add um, an electronic light inside if you like, and then that, that produces a nice glow from the inside. Um, so it's up to you. You could even use pattern paper for this uh, middle layer to go behind your uh, snowflake layer so the choice is yours so I'm adding glue to the back of my snowflake and then I'm popping my vellum into place and then I need to add glue on top of the vellum layer but f following along where the snowflake is um, so the glue's hidden behind the snowflake and then once that's done then we'll pop that onto the front of our gift bag um, if you're um, gluing this onto acetate you might want to leave it a little while before you add the second layer of glue here because I do find that acetate is the least porous of everything um, and sometimes it can smudge or you know it takes a it takes a while for the glue to actually dry but I'm with the, this um, vellum seemed to take quite well so I moved straight on to um, attaching it to my bag so it's a little tricky for me to see here because I can't really look straight over my project with the camera above me. Um, but I'm trying my best to line it up seeing through the vellum because you've got kind of like a shadow layer on the bag behind it. So you just want to be able to see the outline of the underneath uh, bag. And then what I was doing there was I just um, popped some spare paper down on top of my bag to rub the, um, the snowflake um, detail into place because the, the paper I've used is quite heavily glittered and it's quite difficult to smooth things down when it's um, glittered like that. So I just used some spare paper and um, used that to make sure it was, it was you know, burnished down. So now I'm folding along all the score lines of all the, all the uh, side pieces of my bag. And now we can start assembling the pieces of our bag together. So what I find helps me, especially with pattern paper, it's a little bit difficult to see where the um, the tab starts and finishes. So I've just bent along the score line there just to make sure that I get the glue in the right place. I'm using my precision nozzle here, so it takes a little bit longer for larger tabs like this, um, but I just tend to use it for everything. So I'm just making sure that I've got the score line lined up with the edge of the front of the bag and then I'll flip it over because again it's got glitter on that front panel I'll flip it over and uh, burnish it from the inside make sure that the glue takes hold and then I'm ready to add glue to the opposite tab And then we'll start putting the back onto into place. Again, we'll line up the score line with the edge of the back of the bag. And making sure that the top and bottom are flush. And then I'm flipping it over and putting some pressure from the inside so I don't disturb the glitter on the front. And then I'll put my last side in place. Now this is actually, I think, the largest bag I've done so far. It's over 11 inches tall and 11 inches wide. And it's also uh, 4 inches deep. So it's tall enough to hold the um, folding photo frame that's in the same collection. And it's deep enough to hold the sleigh, the 3D sleigh from the, um, from the Home for Christmas collection too. Okay, now I'm going to fold this side over to add my glue. And then once I'm happy that I've got glue all along that tab, then I just need to fold the front of the bag over and it should line up perfectly.
So once I'm happy that the score line is lined up with the with the side of the front, then I'm just going to flip the bag over and then put my hand inside and uh, push against my desk, add some pressure, and then that's our bag um, taken shape. So we need to pop the bottom on, and you've got two pieces for your bottom. You want to find the slightly larger piece, and that's going to go on the outside. Now, I nearly put glue on my bottom piece, but I do find it's a lot better to add the glue to the tabs on the bottom of your bag. And especially in this case, because I've got two of my long tabs here are heavily glittered and it can take a little bit longer to dry. So I want to make sure I've got plenty of glue on there. And onto my last tab. I'm trying to make sure I've got a fairly heavy coat of glue on there because with it being glitter, you need it. But I, I do want to make sure that it's nicely spread out. Now, when you pop your top on, you just need to wiggle your bag around a bit and make sure that it kind of lines up. I've just laid it down on the table to get it kind of squarer now I tried to reach in my bag and like I said was with um, sitting down at my desk I couldn't actually reach into the bottom of my bag it really is quite big so I just got a bone folder and I put some pressure along all of the tabs around the edge and just to make sure that they were you know down as well as I could get them now this is your internal piece so this is the slightly smaller piece and I'm adding glue to well, pretty much the whole area because I, I not only want it to glue to the tabs, but I want it to glue to the middle as well. So I'm just adding a, a light layer of glue all the way over and then you can kind of just drop it in place. And then I'm just going to grab my bone folder again and add some pressure from the inside. Okay, now these are the strengthening uh, pieces that go on the inside of the front and the back of your bag. And this reinforces the top edge of your bag and the areas where you're going to thread your, um, your cord or your ribbon or your thread, um, whatever it is that you decided to use. I actually use some um, glitter ribbon on, on my bag. So I'm just lining that up with the top edge of the bag and making sure that the holes are in place. I mean, either way, it, it will line up. You can use the holes or the top edge of the bag. And I'm going to do the same with the other side. And I'll just pop that in. And that's the bag complete and all I'll need to do now is add my ribbon and um, pop a knot on the inside and I've also got a fun picture here where I, I popped an electric um, tea light inside my bag so you can have a look at what it looks like um, with it glowing and that's the effect that you get with vellum because you can't actually see the light inside but you still get the nice glow and I hope this comes in really handy for your gift giving this Christmas.